Assalamu alaikum. Hi, everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to generate populations of design configurations in Rhino Grasshopper. Uh, we will uh, focus on the Delaunay mesh. And uh, first, I will create a box in Rhino and connect it to Grasshopper. Set one. And here I will choose the, to populate geometry or populate 3D. You connect this to the region. And here we have the number of points. So let's assume we want to have from 0 to 100. And let's like take the 39. And the seed determines the random positioning of the points. So I will choose. Uh, a number from 0 to 10. As you can see here, the position of the points changes. Uh, now I will go, I will hide this. And we'll bring the Delaunay mesh. Connect points to the points. And as you can see, it's working here. I will preview of this so that we could focus on the Delaunay mesh. And then the Delaunay edges. I could create a structure for the form. And here, as you can see here, when I hover over this, we need a plane, which is optional base plane. But here, I want to use this. I would just focus on this part, which is connectivity and the edges. I need the edges. I will bring the pipe. And choose. Um, I see that this radius is good enough. So I want to play in the radius, uh, uh, in the radius uh, number or the radius uh, value. Uh, so here. We can see that we have the mesh and we have uh, the structure of the mesh and we are controlling the number of points and the seed. So these are uh, the two slides that we're going to connect or hook uh, to the to the octopus. Um, so first, let's bring color swatch and custom preview. Here we can also um, control the color or manipulate uh, the color during the form generation. So I might add uh, more than one color. I will align them together and then bring the list item and hook up all these colors to the list. And here, as you can see, we have four colors. So we need just three numbers. I mean, from one to, from zero to three, because the, the zero counts actually. So here. As you can see here, I will hook this instead. So now I will preview off all what I have here so that we can see the color. I'm sorry, I needed to hook up uh, the color to the material and the mesh to the geometry. So as you can see, it's working. Here I will copy and paste this to the pipe or the structure of, oh, I'm sorry, again. This needs to be connected to the geometry. So here we are manipulating the colors also. So what if 
we want to just manipulate another uh, parameter. Let's assume that we want to change the size of the box. So I will bring the scale new. Hook up this to the geometry and then hook this up instead. So here we have the B-Rep, but we can control the size of the B-Rep. So I might uh, say that I want from, from 1 to 2, for example. And here we can see that I'm able to manipulate the X. So let's assume that I don't want to uh, make it that big. So I might ch change it to 2 to 3. And here we can use x divided uh, divided uh, by 2, which actually will divide these numbers by 2. So here, 2 over 2 will give us 1, which is the original uh, scale of the, the box. And here, 3 over 2 will uh, enlarge uh, the box by 1.5 instead of make it uh, the double. So that's OK. Here we have 1, and this is 1.5. I can actually do this so that we could see uh, the whole box. Again, I will use this in the Y also. And of course, we can use it for the X. As you can see here, the box changed its position. In order to uh, fix uh, this issue, I will use a point. Bring, for example, the point here. And then uh, set one point. This point actually controls uh, the, the space or the user space where the box is going to uh, enlarge its size. So I can also control this by moving the point. So here now I will preview off all what I have on my canvas. So it's control A, then right click preview off so that uh, all what appears in my uh, Rhino viewport is the colors only, that, the colors that we have here. 